Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and uh, my highlight looks insane right now. Just, do you guys see this? I see it, it's pretty crazy. Do you see that? Anyway, um, I thought it was about time to um, sit down and record a quick video um, because I recently went shopping with some friends and picked up some makeup. Uh, before I get into my haul, I guess I've never done a haul, so before I get into my haul, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be uploading a watercolor kind of, uh, what's a color? I don't know what I'm thinking of. Like, showing you what I do with watercolor, pretty much. Um, and somebody asked for me to do like a video so I thought I'd do like kind of a time lapse of me using watercolor and yeah so look out for that it should be in the next few weeks um, anyway so I'll just get into my haul um, I went to CVS and I went to Ulta so there's a mixture of things it's not a ton of stuff it's not like I'm a beauty guru or whatever I just bought some cool makeup stuff and I wanted to share with you guys if you were interested um, okay, so the first stuff I'm going to show you is from CVS. It looks like there's a smaller amount now that I have it like, like in a collected form. Anyway, um, the first thing I picked up is this Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Contour. That's what it says. You see that? Contouring palette. I don't know why it says contour twice. Um, with a new formula. I've gotten this before so this is a repurchase and my the old color I had was discontinued. It was a more of a reddish like a darker brown. It was a lot darker than this. Not like a whole lot darker but it definitely had a redder more redder tone. This is more of a warmer tone but this one's in Dolce de Leche and I know Kathleen Lights if you don't know who she is, I'll link her down below. She's my favorite YouTuber ever. Well, beauty YouTuber ever. Um, and she uses this. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta pick that up. Um, it, it's a lot of product, actually. And um, yeah, so that's that. I've worn it once already, once or twice already. And I do like the tone for me. It's a lot warmer than I'm used to, but I think it makes me look a lot more healthier. Since it's summertime, it makes me look more glowy. Um, the next thing I picked up, the last thing, the next and last thing I picked up at CVS is um, this is also also a repurchase. This is the Wet n Wild Make a Last Lipstick in Cherry Picking, and for some reason it's really hard to open up. But I bought this before, like a year, probably two years ago, and somehow I lost it. I don't know. I always lose my lipsticks, but it's a very pretty. Ooh, look at that. Like, why is my hand so glowy? It's a very pretty pink, deep pink color, almost like a berry tone. Um, it's not red, but it has red undertones. So it's like a mixture between pink and red. And um, I'm not wearing it right now, but I was wearing it earlier today. Um, I really like this color for like um, middle to late summer, early fall, because it's kind of transition between a light pink like a summery color and a fall color. I don't want to say fall because I don't want it to be fall. But um, yeah, and then I went to Ulta and I'll show you things I got there. So the first thing I'll show you is this um, Essence All About Bronze Eyeshadow. All this makeup I got is really affordable. Um, I'll, if you want, I'll link everything below so you guys can check it out. And uh, this was like $5 I think and holy, smoke holy cow this is as good some of these shadows in here are as good as my sister's naked palette no joke I can't afford I mean like I could buy it but $49 for an eyeshadow palette when I don't wear eyeshadow normally I wear eyeshadow like four times a year it's pretty ridiculous ridiculous this let me just swatchy swatchy for you and I don't know how to do this. This is weird. Holy, like these are so pigmented and soft and smooth and creamy and 
oh my gosh this every single color in this is creamy and pigmented and I'm so used to have going to like the drugstore and getting eyeshadows and having them be like like you have to scrub your hand really hard to get a nice color but that's with one swatch you can't really see it that well but it is these are phenomenal for the price and not even just the like they're just good eyeshadows in general I highly recommend picking this up because it's the best drugstore palette I've ever gotten the next thing I picked up is also by Essence and it's their Essence Single Eyeshadows in the Grammy Goes Glammy Super Soft and Long Lasting Eyeshadow. Yeah, that's all it says. <laughs> um, I originally wanted to pick up uh, their highlighter they just came out with. I don't know how long ago, but once again, Kathleen Lights was raving about how pretty it looked on the skin. But all I could find was their single eyeshadows and um, yeah, all I could find was single eyeshadows so I swatched this one in Ulta and oh my gosh it is my favorite highlight at the moment and I have a good collection of highlighters I mean if you see on me right now I look borderline almost greasy which is gross because I'm hot but I mean do you see this this is insane this is insane um, I'm gonna swatch it right here on my arm you cannot see it as well um, as it is in person. Like, it is pigmented, it is smooth, it is not like crumbly, and it it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It reminds me a lot of the Too Faced highlighters I swatched in Sephora. Like, it has that same like super soft texture where it's not like crumbly, but it's almost like you think it would be wet super gorgeous I like it better than almost I, right now I like it better than all my highlights because it leaves a texture of your skin and not like a sparkly like on the top highlight like some other highlights kind of give sometimes if you add a lot it looks you can see the texture of the highlight which I, I don't like but this looks like it's just your like skin you can don't see it setting on top of your face which I like okay um, I highly recommend recommend that as well also from essence um, I got their super fine eyeliner pen um, smart truth extra long lasting it looks like this it has a nice little holographic label and this is super black like very very black um, that's just with one swipe and um, it is really long lasting I've used it once so I don't really have the best opinion on it but when you, with one swatch, it's very black, it's very opaque, and it's very smooth. And that's all things I look for, especially in a felt-tipped marker. Um, and it's like 188, so it is super affordable. And I also picked up this um, Essence Make Me Brow, and it's pretty much an exact dupe for the, I think it's Too Faced or Too Faced Gimme Brow whatever it is gimme brow the gimme brow you know what I'm talking about the high-end stuff it's um, just a brow gel with fibers in it and this one is in brownie brows soft brownie brows 03 and it's holds my brows it's uh, almost perfect color for me I would say it's a little bit light um, but that's just because I really like darker brows um, I'm wearing it right now so, uh, yeah I'm wearing it right now Oh my god, it's so awkward. Mm. I'm wearing it right now, and so far I don't have any like bad comments about it. It lasts for more than 12 hours on me. Uh, yes. Um, and the next three things I picked up are from NYX, and these are my last ones. I picked up the NYX HD Concealer in CW03, and so far it's very lightweight and it matches me pretty well. Um, it has a doe foot applicator. So it applies just like a regular concealer. Um, at the moment, I think I like it better than my Fit Me concealer, which is like my concealer I always, I always repurchase. So I'm just gonna see how this goes. Plus I have super sensitive skin, so we'll see if it breaks me out. Um, the next thing I got, whoops, is this NYX High Voltage Lipstick in uh, 07. It has a name, but I'm gonna, it's like rouge, it, 
Maybe it's just this in French. Oh, it's in beam. The um, I was watching right here. It's a very baby pink. Oh my gosh, you can see it. It's a very baby pink color, but it's a little corally. Um, it can be really opaque, or you can put a, like a one coat, and it can be very um, natural looking. Uh, really pretty color. I normally stray toward red lipsticks or dark lipsticks, so I wanted to pick up a few pinker, naturally tones. And the last thing I picked up is this NYX um, Single Baked Eyeshadow um, in Supernova. And it just looks like this, cute little bow on the side. NYX has really cute packaging. Like this. And I picked this up, once again, as a highlighter because I find that eyeshadows can work just as well. And it's more champagne-y, you can't really see it, it's right here, than my Essence eyeshadow, but still a really, really soft pigmented highlight. Um, I also picked up today, I picked up a liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild, which I really like this. This is the um, felt tip one, and this is just kind of my staple eye affordable eyeliner and then I also picture, picked up a Neutrogena um, transparent facial bar because I've been having really really bad breakouts lately and my skin has just been overall dry and itchy and irritated and really gross so I've been trying to figure out if it's my cleanser or my moisturizer so yeah I got that to try out um, if you want me to do a first impressions on any of these or if you want to know how these products are working for me Feel free to comment down below. I will ask them as soon as I get a notification for it. Um, I know that was a super like short haul, but um, I just wanted to talk to you guys and sit down and film a video for you guys so um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and um, If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye